fatal drug overdoses are on the rise in North Carolina. Federal data shows death by overdoses rose to as many as 16 per 100,000 residents in 2014. All 100 counties saw an uptick in overdose deaths, and experts say addiction to prescription painkillers is the driving trend. Health officials say prescription drug abuse is alarmingly high right here in Pitt County. Allie Weatherton reports. It's easy to become addicted, so very difficult to stop. Harold Battle started using and abusing drugs at a young age. In college, he was prescribed prescriptions for pain. After a couple of years of them giving it to me and not really having a diagnosis, when they realized I was addicted, they stopped them and gave me an aspirin won't work. Battle, just like many others, was prescribed opioids like Vicodin or codeine and had a hard time stopping. I became mentally and emotionally addicted to it because my thoughts would run um, rampant. I couldn't think very well um, most of the time unless I had that drug. Fatal drug overdoses are on the rise all over the country. We're seeing kids as young as 12, 13, 14 getting started on these uh, prescription pills, on these opioids, and really getting a hold of something that they have no idea when they first try it that it can grab a hold of you so quickly. Lamp says once the doctor stops handing out the painkillers, some people turn to other drugs. Heroin is more available than the pills are, and so uh, and in many cases less expensive as well. Luckily, Harold Battle didn't use heroin, though he did spend a few times in ICU for overdoses. After that, he decided to turn his life around. Uh, today I, I can do anything. You know, um, I'm totally happy. I'm happy with who I am. Battle encourages others addicted to opioids to follow in his footsteps and get help to stop their addiction. In Greenville, Allie Weatherton, 9 on your side. The Pitt County Coalition on Substance Abuse says it's meeting Friday with the Sheriff's Office to discuss how to handle the growing problem of opioid addiction.